What's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. We're going to get into it. I'm going to start with um, my smallest firearm that I have. It's not super small, but very compact. Um, you can see, we empty. Um, Taurus G2C, very compact. I have big hands, so as you can see, it's very uh, easy to conceal. Next one is another nine mil. Glock 17, Gen 5, um, it's empty. Love this, this is my favorite gun I have right now. Gen 5, Glock 17. Um, I do plan on getting another Glock 17, older generation. First Glock ever made, if you don't know your history about uh, Glocks, this is the first Glock that was issued to um, officers, uh, law enforcement, constructed in 1981. Of course, this is the Gen 5, but um, the Gen 5, it has no hand grooves on it. Um, it's my other nine mil firearm that I have. Definitely my favorite firearm that I have right now. Yeah, next is Smith & Weston SD40. This was my favorite before I got the Glock 17. We empty. Again, magazine is loaded. I threw the uh, TLR 7A stream light on there. Um, it didn't come with that. I put that on there. So got the little cutout for the Smith & Wesson emblem. This is my second favorite pistol. Stainless steel slide. Um, of course, got a polymer frame. All my firearms are polymer frame, um, even down to the G2, uh, G2C. Uh, let's go back to that real quick. I believe they are on the GX4 now. Uh, I could be wrong, but they might have uh, released another one. But yeah, this is a uh, polymer frame, steel slide rail, has the uh, safety. It's non ambidextrous, so safety on the left side. So it's, you know, if you're right handed, it's kind of more so for a right handed um, person. Magazine holds 12. Uh, Glock hole 17. I also got some Hornady uh, critical defense in the Glock as well. Again, back to this. Love the steel slide rail SD40 VE. My boy has the SD9. I don't know if he has the value on hands version, but yeah, if you didn't know, SD stands for self defense. 40 caliber VE for value enhanced. They had, uh, I want to say they added a match barrel um, to give it more precision. Again, this has no safety. This is a, this is like a Glock prototype. <laughs> Basically, they actually had some issues with Glock when this uh, first released, but I guess they came to some type of agreement. Up top there, they got 40 Smith & Wesson. I had said to myself that I'm gonna stop buying firearms and start modifying. So this is my first project that I'm working on. All, all in all, man, I've, I've shot this gun. I love uh, the control on it, precision of it. Slight recoil again, it's 40 caliber, so it's gonna have a slight kick. It's my baby, I love the look of it, the colorway. Um, and then the TLR 7A stream light. Um, I want to say this is 500 lumen. This is my 40 cal. So I showed you my two nine millimeter pistols. This is my 40, uh, 40 caliber pistol. Now, this is the big boy. I'm definitely making modifications, adding. Um, to all my pistols. I'm just, you know, doing it on my own time. It's not really um, a priority of mine. Um, the priority was getting them. XDM, it has the match barrel. This is a competition handgun. 45 ACP, four and a half inch barrel, Springfield Armory. This is probably my most precise pistol that I have next to the Glock 17. Um, empty as safety trigger on the back and then it has a trigger safety as well that extra little, extra little notch right here it will not fire unless both of these are compressed at the same time i do keep this gun at home my nightstand gun if per se i do not carry this as you can see it's a big boy four and a half inch barrel has a nice little weight to it polymer frame Still slide, still barrel. Uh, you can see it has the night glow sight at the end. Um, I might swap the back sights out, the rear sights, at, uh, or I might paint them um, like a glow, in a, a glow in the dark green or something like that. But another thing I like about this, in the back, you have a loaded indicator to let you know 
and also up top. So yeah, we got some uh, Hornady defense in there, critical defense, JHPs. Moving along, Kill Tech Sub 2000. Fell in love with this gun. Um, from the moment I seen it could do that. <laughs> Flips back if you pull up on the trigger guard, falls back. Then you have a release right here. Fold it back up. It's chambered in nine mil. I believe they have a 40 cal version as well. Um, I added the mount and hold 17 shots. Now, I got the Glock 17 because I can take this out, throw it in the kill tech. It comes with 17 round mags. I believe the kill tech sub 2000 came with uh, two magazines. Yes, sir. Kill sex up 2000. Pistol caliber carbine. Should have really hit the fan. 31 round mags, 32 with one in the head. It ever goes down, I'm going with nothing less than 30 shots. 30 shots in a glizzy. Should ever hit the fan. I've shot this several times. Um, I've been to the range several times with this. Zero to little, no recoil. Smith & Wesson, m and 15 Sport 2. Chambered in 223, 556 NATO. Adjustable stock on the back. Green and red dot sight, crimson trace sight. This is my AR-15. I have the uh, I have the kill tech here, but again, this is a pistol caliber carbine. You cannot go against, you know, higher calibers with pistol caliber rounds. When shit really gets real, and if I ever had to, you know, leave with two, this is the pair: the Springfield XDM 45. And the M&P Sport with the sight included, I got it for 800 bucks. And yeah, that is my uh, pistol collection video, man. Again, you want to get something, you don't have to go get a bid. I, I got these guns over time. Definitely, if you're legally able to get your license, get your Foy. If you don't want to carry, get your Foy so you can have something in your home. It's a lot of home invasions going on right now. It's a lot of carjackings going on right now. That's why I would advise you to get your everyday carry so at least you have that that peace of mind in the back of your head knowing like okay somebody runs up on my car i'm ready you know or if i have to go in a store in a in a, in a crazy area or any area it don't matter because now you get you have stores getting shot up you can go to church and get shot up it's really no way to escape the violence and danger so the best way to be prepared to say the least is to arm yourself thanks for watching um, hit like, hit subscribe. I'm gonna have a couple range videos coming. We're gonna be doing a lot of more content, just um, touching bases on shit that's going on around the community and the world in ways that we need to prepare and, and protect ourselves.